What's up guys, True North Gaming 92 here, uh, coming back with another video for you guys. Um, so last time we finished off, we opened up the next area in the game, uh, sort of through that way uh, in front of us, and um, uh, we're not going to go that way right now though. Okay, so what we're going to do in this video, first we're going to go to Firelink Shrine. Uh, I just want to show you guys um, uh, the way to get rid of your beef jerky face, okay? Because let's be honest, um, uh, that face is not looking good, okay? So let's let's go take care of that real quickly here. So uh, Yoel of Londor gave you those five free levels. Uh, if you go left here, past Grey Rat, we'll talk to him in a minute, and then you take another left here, you will see that Yoel of Londor is dead. Okay, so that's fine, um, but if you go too far in the game without coming over here to see he's dead and meeting this girl here, you won't be able to get the items that I am going over right now, okay? So, let's go see her. So talk to her. Art thou good yours, master? I am Yoria of Londor. Yoria of Londor. Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Dignified bow you get. Another matter. That a lord art thou not? Bearer of the dark sigil. And our lord of hollows. For the time thou remainst our lord, we of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. Okay, so um, basically she's going to help you out with items, okay? Now, this is the item I'm talking about here, the Purging Stone. Um, right now, we're just shy of enough um, souls for that. Um, so we're going to back off on that for now. I'm not worried. We can get it when we get it. Um, I mean, once you get it, you use it, bang, you have no more beef jerky face. Now, if you die enough time to get your hollowing up again, your face will turn color. So if you're the type that dies a lot, uh, it's not going to last long. Um, but the fact of the matter is that is how you get rid of it so you don't have to see it all the time. Um, there are other ways in the game, but those are not the ways that I do it um, for certain reasons. Now, um, these poison throwing knives are really cool. Nobody else in the game sells them. Um, I mean, I don't really use them often. I usually generally only use throwing knives for separating enemies. Um, if you're in a tough spot where you feel like you can't get through without a little bit of an extra jolt, maybe equip them and you know, um, you'll have some distance and, and it'll start killing them slowly with poison as well um, while it's stuck in them. Um, they don't work on every enemy, they work on a lot of them though, but just a very cool item. Um, a throwing knife dipped in poison. Throw out enemies to inflict poison damage. Used by assassins of Londor, Land of Hollows. The poison is jokingly known as Hollows Blood. Cool. So that's that. Uh, you can buy this Braille Divine Tome from her to get miracles. Um, she gives you a couple of sorceries here. Um, this particular weapon, not a big fan of it. You can get that from her as well. Um, I mean, it is cool if... if you know, if, if you get into it, but I'm not into it. Um, untrue Dark Ring, uh, retain human appearance while hollow. So you can buy this and you can put it on as a ring and it will do the same thing as Purging Stone. The reason I don't want, like that option is it takes up a ring slot. Later on, we are going to need every ring slot uh, we have. Um, I mean, for now in the game, no problem. You got the extra souls, sure, grab it and you won't have to deal with it. But for me, not exactly, uh, you know, something that I'm going to use. Um, this one is a little bit of a different ring. Um, not even going to get into that one. It's more about online play. Um, and then this is an important ring too, if you're finding you're dying a lot, especially at times where you have major amount of souls on you. Um, this is going to allow you to get that extra chance to get your souls back. But the ring will break uh, after after you retrieve those souls. So you die once, you, have, you always have that first chance to get them back, but you die twice, and then as long as you have this equipped, you will get that next chance. Okay, so she also sells those. So she sells some important items, guys. Um, 
And uh, now we are going to go talk to Grey Rat quickly. Heavens, she was already dead. He gives you the curl up. Heavens, she was already dead. And that's all he's going to do. He's just going to say that for now, guys. All right. So uh, we don't need Andre for anything. Um, we don't need her for anything. Uh, so now we are going to go uh, our next way here, guys. Uh, so basically what this video is going to be here, we're going to fight the Curse Rotted Greatwood. Um, that particular boss, not the hardest boss in the world, but you have to know what you're doing to beat that boss. Um and where you want to go is back to the dilapidated bridge. Um, I mean, he gives a very important item, though, that we're going to want uh, for our playthrough here. Um, although it's not a necessary item um, for my build, uh, but I didn't really want to skip it um, because I wanted to show you guys just how important it is. Um, I realize it's an old game. I, I realize a lot of you guys probably already know about most of this stuff uh, watching, um, but you know, there's gonna be the odd guy who just started out and is having a hard pro uh, time playing the game. Um, those are the people that I wanna help, okay? So, sorry, you don't wanna go across the bridge. You wanna go this other way here. Now, you probably will get invaded. Yes, we will. So we'll just take care of this guy real quick here before we even go. Let him run at you. He's going to come right now. Um, at the level you're at right now, guys, you should be able to easily deal with this guy. You, what you don't want is that other big guy coming at you too at the same time. Uh, not something you really want to deal with. So let uh, Holy Knight Hodrick come at you here. Careful here. Oh, he's hitting me with the same move I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Let him do his thing. And a few whacks and he's gone. Okay, guys. 3,300. If you did use an Estus, he will give you that back. Uh, he gives you a couple back, actually. Um, now deal with this guy. We dealt with these guys earlier. We can try and get this. No, he's gone. You have to come from this way, guys, to get the Crystal Lizard, which I didn't cover in this playthrough. So just stuff that I don't need through that way, okay, guys? That's why I didn't come that way. Keep in mind, this is a series of shortcuts the way I play. Um, we're going directly for the things that we want to make our our type of walkthrough a, a viable one. Be careful, too, because this guy can bleed up, build, uh, build up bleed on you. Anyways, he's done. Okay, finito, he didn't drop anything. Keep going through here, guys. Straight through, straight through, straight through. Now, there is a couple items around here that you want to get for sure. Uh, one thing we didn't do that we probably should have was go talk to the big giant. And I can show you where that guy is um, as well, guys. Um, because he will hit you with the arrows as well here. Whereas, if you go and talk to him and make friends with him, uh, you will not get hit with the arrows. See, just like that, guys. He actually knocked me right into the room. Be careful because you can get overwhelmed and that is what is starting to happen right here. I'm just going to roll through here guys, get some refuge, take one of these, let these guys come after you, no big deal. I mean you're so powerful right now that like... And he's still rocking us even from there, right? Just be careful guys. That guy's dead now. Now up there is a scythe. Um, it's kind of in my path, but I, it's not something I'm gonna use, guys, so I'm not really worried about it. Take that four-pronged plow. Um, nobody really cares, no one's gonna use that. Uh, just be careful when you go back out here, guys, because he is, um, you know, sort of still gunning for you. I can show you where the area is. It's where we killed, um, that night, um, that pretty difficult enemy where we opened up the other area of the game to go the other way, Forbidden Woods. Okay, he's gonna get you a bit. These ones, I mean, not the, not, I don't really need those, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, he's gonna get me a little bit. 
keep going guys keep going don't worry about it okay now what we need to do is we need to run and we need to get over there okay ah you hit me almost knocked me off too Okay, so we're over. That's where you want to be, guys, because this is an important part right here. You want that undead bone shard. Very important. Don't worry about your Estus right now, guys. We can always go and replenish our health and then do the boss, which is probably what we'll do. Again, you have to realize this is me getting through the game as fast as possible. Uh, we're not going to go for that item up there. Not a big deal. Not something I use or want. Oh, and he's still hitting me. There is one thing I do want over here though, guys, and that is these ashes. Um, I, I try to get every single one of the ashes I can, um, just because, I mean, ashes give you a lot of really cool items, and this guy's going ham on me, man. And even like when he doesn't hit you directly, I mean, he still hits you, right? So what we're gonna do, guys, now that we got all those items is we are going to bone back to the last bonfire. On fire last rested at so the main important items in that area leading into this door are the uh undead bone shard and the uh the ashes um that you want those two items um very very good for your game okay okay so now we're back where we started guys but no big deal he's just around the corner here the guy that we want to go see the boss um, so don't even worry about this guy. No big deal. Let him chase you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not interested. Uh, we're just trying to get to our next part here. So again, all these guys are going to be in here again, guys. So you, you might want to, um, you know, kill some of these guys because they will sort of gain up on, uh, gain on you. So... Yeah. Careful. That killed a bunch of them. Thank you. That killed him too. It's alright, boys. No biggie. I know it's kind of sloppy, but, you know, we're going to the boss with five Estus. I mean, that should be more than enough at this point. Just watch it, because he'll still hit you with arrows. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open these doors because this is another way um, to get to the boss without going that way, guys, through sort of that gauntlet, okay? But it's a gauntlet on this end too, so I mean, no matter what you do. But anyways, let's go fight this guy, see what we can do here. Okay, so the main thing with this boss, you want to hit his little gross, weird testicle sacks. Uh, on his body um, they're filled with pus they're disgusting but that is exactly where you want to aim and that is exactly what you want to hit okay that's how you're going to kill him quickly and keep in mind just watch out guys because these other guys around you they're not really all that dangerous but dangerous enough to piss you off and dangerous enough to sort of get you off your game so there's two shots on him already uh, what he's going to do now is he's going to fall through the floor you can't hit him anymore here anyways. It's not it's not gonna let you. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So now that he's fallen through the floor, guys, we are gonna run our magic on him. There's another shot. Take an Estus, you might as well, full life here. Just be careful here, guys. Uh, watch out for the hand, guys. The hand is uh, the most dangerous thing. Um, in this part. Be careful, use your Estus. The hand's probably gonna grab me right now. Nope, didn't. Watch it though, because he, he's gonna go for me right now, see? And I think we already got him here, guys. Yep. So he's all done. As you can see, you can see the power of the weapon I have right now. Um, I mean, it's just like the bosses aren't even, like, absolutely no... Um, 
just absolutely no power against you at all. Um, you have the transposing kiln. That's what we came for. Uh, Soul of the Rotted Great Wood. That gives you a couple pretty cool weapons. Um, or you could sell it for souls. But uh, the transposing kiln is why we killed that boss. That is actually an optional boss. You don't have to kill him to sort of go along with the game. But uh, I always do because the transposing kiln is so important. Okay. So grab these couple items here. Uh, good. We got a bone. We need them. We've been using them like candy. Um, and then we are going to go back to Firelink Shrine and we are going to soon end off the video. Uh, let's go to Firelink Shrine. Okay, guys, um, as you can see, he didn't give us very much souls um, for that kill. Uh, it, it's early in the game, right? I mean, your, your, your level is not supposed to be this high. It's not supposed to cost you 20,000 souls uh, to get a level right now. But, I mean, we did it the way we did it, right? So, um, let's see what we got here. So, what we want to do at this point, guys, we want to go talk to that little guy up there. So, we are going to go do that now. Where is he? He's right there. Go have a chat with him. And a seeker of lords. I am Ludlith of Torland. Look not in bewilderment as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming a lord of Simba. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child. This sad cadaver. No need to be called. Have a closer look. So, uh, give him the transposing kiln. Like it is a transposing kiln in my possession. See better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing. He is ugly, eh? <laughs> Quite ugly. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to the Look at me though. <laughs> thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition? Okay, so begin transposition. Um, just just a note, guys. If I ever talk to an NPC, I'm going to go through their dialogue. I'm not going to skip through it just because, I mean, I'm already talking to them anyway, so you guys might as well see what they have to say. So we have two twisted souls right now. We have the soul from um, Curse of the Rotted... Um, uh, the Rotted Greatwood. Sorry, I can't speak right now. The Rotted Greatwood, and we have the soul. We Well, we did have the soul of the dancer, but like I told you guys, I sold that. Um, I will not use those swords ever. That's not the type of play I do. Um, that would be more of a dexterity thing. That's why I sold it. Um, so the ones that we do have, and you can also get uh, Soothing Sunlight from the dancer. Again, not something I need for my playthrough. Um, so, so this is a cool sword, guys. Great sword used for a lifetime by a masked knight. Harbors the fears that lurk within the minds of hollows and is particularly effective against them. Bestowed to a proper Mira knight long ago. Two-handed to execute special sword techniques. Uh, to hand to execute. Uh, skill is stance. Again, guys, one of the best skills you can get in the game. Um, and it, it's just a trusty skill. It's a really good skill for, for any sort of playthrough. Um, and then um, this one is from Vort. Uh, this is a very powerful weapon, guys. We could even go with this weapon on our strength build. Um, let's see how much strength it requires. 30, which we already have. Um, we could definitely go with it. It is not the weapon I'm looking for. Uh, when I get to that weapon, you guys will know for sure. Um, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Um, but it's coming up, and um, it's a great weapon. So we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna pass on that. Um, 
and he gives the ring. This is the ring from Vort. So this ring, Bewitched Ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights, recovers HP with successive attacks. So that that's really cool. So say you are using something like the Dancer's uh, uh, Blades. I mean, if you can do fast enough attacks with them, which, you know, having one in each hand, most likely you're going to be able to, it's going to replenish your health. But, I mean, you got to do a lot of successive hits to get any health to come back. Um, but it is really cool, um, that ring. That's why I kind of wanted to get that. And it costs zero souls, so we're going to take it. Um, these ones both cost money. We're not going to take them right now. I'm not worried, but we are going to keep the soul so we can get them whenever we feel like if we want to get them uh, i don't really need them for my playthrough either guys but i just i wanted to show you guys how that works so that thing allows you to transform boss weapons now let's try and get over 20 here so give umbral ash give mortician's ashes can't remember exactly what shows up i think three more embers after mortician's ashes um and what else shows up some of these show up i believe after mortician's ashes um i'm not sure the exact items that show up guys um the arrows weren't here before uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. what's this little guy here short sword that's a cool sword too guys it's kind of like the broadsword. if you ranked it up to full it would be a good fast weapon for certain um bosses that you might want a quick weapon for so um heal age gives um we're not really interested in any of this stuff guys we're just gonna sell some stuff so let's get rid of this 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 uh, 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 how much do we have so again i don't really recommend this guys but i'm gonna sell two of these um and hopefully we're enough for a level let's just check and see where we're at That is not quite going to give us enough. So we need to sell something else here, guys. And I do not want to sell another one of those. I don't use bundles. I use, like, the resin. So they're worth 80 a piece. That might put us just enough. It might not, actually. 163.20. Oh, my God. It's going to be short a little bit. I'm still going to get rid of them, though, guys, because I'm not going to use them. What do we need? Generally, I don't do this, guys. I don't sell my stuff to get the next level, but it's not worth going and like farming a Lothric Knight right now for a couple hundred souls. Um, yeah, see, we're like <laughs> we're just short. Wow. So let's sell something else here. What can we sell? We don't want to sell anything important. Uh, rubbish isn't worth anything. I'm not surprised. It's rubbish. Uh, what can we do here? Oh, we get a lot of these guys. A lot of these in the game. So I'm going to sell one of them. And that's going to do it for us, okay? So let's go get our level. Uh, level up. We are going to put this level on Vigor. Okay. Okay. So that's done. We are officially level 60, guys. We're way ahead of the game here. Uh, and we haven't even started Forbidden Woods yet. Um, so uh, let's go. Oh, I almost hit her. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the video there. I think, guys, I've been trying to keep them as short as possible. Um, so, with all that said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the boss fight. Um, please like and subscribe if you do like the videos and you like the channel and you want more Dark Souls content and um, other gaming content. Because I am not going to be sticking to Dark Souls, guys. There's quite a few games that I'm going to be playing on this channel. Um, but I am a huge Dark Souls fan. So, um, if you like the content, guys. Um, then please like and subscribe and um, I have a lot of fun making these videos and that's it so uh, we'll see you again next time true north gaming 92 and I'm out